Hello folks, welcome to my first ever tutorial. This is Owen Cartagena and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flowing sea, mountains and animated clouds just using a Nukes Noise and Displace Geo. So it's going to be all procedural. This is what we're going to be making. <clears throat> right here. It's not going to be as realistic if you compare it to uh, all the 3D rendering packages like uh, Maya, 3D Max, Lightwave and such. But, you know, if, one, if you want a stylized look and you could, you could always use color corrections and to get your, you know, specific look and as realistic as you can. But for now, let's stick to this kind of style. So let's begin. I already have an initial setup right here, but I'm still going to take you through how I created everything. So let's start with the waves. So first, I invoke the noise node. Press 1, and from here, I make sure that uh, for, for this setting, we're just going to be using 24 frames per second, uh, 100 frames, and 1920 by 1080. So, let's go back to the noise node, and I'm just going to crank the size XYZ to probably 24 and then I reduce the gamma like 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.26 and gain just a little bit of a gain right there and then I animate so start from uh, frame 1 right click on the Z and set key and jump to frame 100 and just crank it all the way up to five. So if you view it, it kind of looks like this. But we need the C to move sideways. And let's try to do it on the right side. So uh, let's go to the transform tab and then uh, <coughs> click on, on the right side. There's a number two button right here. You just click it and it will show you the width and the height. So let's increase the width just a little bit right there, like that, maybe 2.3. And then on the Translate X, right click, set key on frame number one, jump to frame 100, and let's put a value of 800. So if you go back to frame 1 and you play it, that's how it will look. And that's how fast I want my, uh, my C to move. From here, everything looks good, but I wanted to emphasize the alpha and crank up the alpha. So I usually uh, get a grade node, and from the channels I go RGBA, and then I uh, turn on white clamp just to you know maintain the value of uh, zero to one, and then I do the white clipping, white point down maybe 0.5 something like that, and then the black point all the way up. Kind of looks like that, so it kind of gives you a little bit of contrast between the white and the black values. So. <coughs> And then I'm going to grab a constant, switch it to RGBA, and color 1. Just click it on the color wheel and I want my little waves to be like a touch of light blue, right there, light blue. And I could Control C, Control V, copy paste. For the second constant, uh, I wanted a little bit of blue green. The color of the C. Not really sure what the color of the C is. Maybe dark blue green. 
something like that and then I grab a copy and pre-mote and I will use this one as my alpha and the first constant something like that and then I'm gonna grab a merge node and this will be A and the darker shade of blue is gonna be B so when I merge that on top it's gonna be looking like this so uh, and then I grab a card and at this place geo so before I'm gonna connect this to I'm gonna view I'm gonna unhook the card and I'm gonna double click the card and I'm gonna go to def to deform and I'm gonna go to type bilinear and I'm gonna change the XY points to let's get a minimal value of 10 because this is this is a little bit heavy I tried it for the first time and it crashed my PC so so you put 10 X and 10 Y and then you click new shape and it and it'll give you this pop-up right here if you want to create a new shape and then just click yes and then wait for a few seconds few seconds and yep I think it's good yep okay it's good and you press one on the card so that's what it's gonna look like right there and go back to the card uh, tab and then on rotate X right here put negative 90 right there put negative 90 and connect this one to the merge node and the displace geo uh, connect this one to the to the noise in the grade and this other one over here and press one and it will give you this weird looking shape right there so double click on the displace geo and for filter I always go to cubic and for the scale I just go like a little conservative value you could pick whatever value you have and and it looks low poly right now because I'm trying to conserve uh, memory my PC is not that powerful but you know it's starting to look like a body of water but you could always, if your PC is powerful, you could always uh, double click card, go to D4, and increase the value of the X and Y points. So for now, let's just stay with the value of 10. And then I grab a scene. And then I grab a camera. Right there. And let's position the camera on this side right here. To rotate, just press Control, and it'll give you the, the rotation transform, the rotation gizmo, and just rotate accordingly, and position the camera right there. I'm gonna drag it a little bit on the y-axis so it doesn't touch the the water. And you don't have to, but I, I usually just connect it to the scene. And then I grab a scan line renderer, connect this one to the scene, this one to the camera. For the background, you don't have to do anything, but this is just my personal preference. I just grab a constant black and switch it. I usually switch it to RGBA and just connect right there. And if you know if it's moving. If there's a motion, I always double-click scan line render, go to multi-samples, 
and give it a value of 8. It gives you like a basic motion blur. So from there, I switch, I go over here, I switch to 2D tab, and then I view it right there. And if you play it, it's going to be a little heavy right there. It's crawling. This place Geo is a little bit uh, heavy. So let's change the setting of the displaced geo to a little bit lower because now it's like that one. 0.8. So now we're we're starting to to get into the you know, shaping the C. It doesn't look like much for now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna view this one I'm gonna copy the scene scanline render and a constant and I'll tell you why in a few minutes and just connect the scene to the camera uh, maybe to copy the displays geo and the card and I'm gonna and I'm gonna use this alpha connect the displays geo and the card to the alpha So basically, I'm creating a black and white color. I forgot to connect the camera. Right there. I'm going to view it. So I have the color information, and then I have a black and white information. And I'm going to be using this one as as a uh, form of a foam on top of the RGB value so I'm gonna shuffle give it a shuffle and just put everything on the alpha and I'm gonna put a grade RGBA channel click white clamp and then crank up the black point and the white maybe just a little bit so that's my uh, RGB value and I'm gonna plus this on top the one we just created I'm gonna plus this one on top of this one right here so if you compare it it's gonna look like this it's a little intense so I'm just gonna dial it down a little bit <laughs> all right so that's my C right there that's basically this is basically my setup of the C which you could uh, which uh, is similar to my initial setup and then I can also invoke light. And I can connect the light to this first scene right there. If you view it, you could see that the light, this one right here, is on the center, so you just have to move it there you could put all the way up to the Y so notice there's a change of uh, light right here you could even make put it closer 
and then you could crank up the value of the intensity I'm gonna try 50 no maybe 20 15 just give it a little bit of shadow value right there I can even copy it connect it again to my scene and then position the second light on this side and I'm gonna change its color to little to blue little like a blue shade and in the first light I'm gonna try to mimic the color of the Sun right there. and I'm gonna switch to 2d That's the first light. And I want a little bit of shadow over on this area right here. So I could probably uh, decrease the intensity of the second light right here. Give it maybe five, maybe eight, right there. So it gives a little bit of nice contrast to it. So let's say we're happy for that one. No, it's not that much. It's, it's a little bit of low poly. Like I said, you could always go to the card and change the deform value of XY points right there. Depends how fast your computer is. So now we finished the setup of the C. It's got it's got to be a little bit heavy when you try to render it. 